Hey, welcome to Rust Revival Garage. My name is Tim. I'm going to do something a little bit different on the channel today. Uh, in the most recent Olympics, we all watched uh, these Olympic athletes go really, really fast. Uh, you know, the sprinters were running 100 meters in like 10 seconds. And the swimmers were going 400 meters in, you know, just a couple of minutes. And it was amazing. The problem is, is that you really couldn't compare it to maybe what the average Joe would look like running that same race or swimming at that same distance. So what I figured I would do is a comparison. Um, normally when I wash my cars, I have my super cheap five or six buck car wash uh, liquid that I get from the auto store. I got a crappy old sponge in my Home Depot bucket. And this is what maybe the average person uses when they're washing their car. So what I thought I would do is something a little bit different. I would try one of the kits that are out there. And I decided to go with Salty Captain. Uh, I wanted to see how this compared because this is a lot more money than this is. So I wanted to compare the, the super to the average. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take my Jeep TJ it's a 2000 Jeep TJ Wrangler, and I'm going to wash half of it. I'm going to do half of it the average way, and I'm going to do the other half the Salty Captain way. I'm going to kind of compare and see which one works the best for the money. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's in the kit. Oh, nice got the little mitt with the noodles on them that you can use to wash with this really big chamois this is cool I didn't actually think this was part of it I thought it would that was just gonna be the mitt so this is cool use this to help dry things off let's take a look at what's inside our bucket the cool thing is, is it actually comes with a bucket um, oh neat it's got a little strainer that you can put down at the bottom of the bucket that helps let all of the debris and dirt and everything settle down below. That's kind of cool. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, this is the musket. Uh, I do need to put this together, but this is a musket that attaches to a garden hose. Allows you to uh, put your detergent inside the musket and spray on and it sort of foams everything up, I think. And uh, like I said, it works with a garden hose. They had a cannon that you could also use. It required a pressure washer, which I do not have. So I need to put this together. Let's see what else is in here. This is the car wash. Comes with wheel wash. That's kind of cool. Normally I just use the suds in my thing to wash the wheels. Glass cleaner, that's kind of neat. Ooh, an interior cleaner. I've never used an interior cleaner before. That's neat. What else we got? Uh, drip dry. It's a post wash hydro coat, it says. I think it's like a ceramic coating that you can spray on, um, almost like giving, your, giving it a wax. Uh, I'm not sure I'll have to check out the directions, but it does coat it and sort of seals it in and keeps it nice and clean looking for a while. It's got this hard bristle brush great for cleaning the wheels any hard to reach spots if you've got a bunch of caked on dirt I guess this would work well but what's cool is it also comes with a soft bristle brush so if you've got more delicate areas like on your paint on the hood if you've got something you've got to scrub out this soft one should do nicely and this is really cool I did not know about this it actually has three different sprayers so you don't have to sort of use one for your interior clean, use one for your glass cleaner, use one for something else, and clean it in between. You can actually drop it in down all three, use what you need and not have to clean them out and just leave it in there. That's neat. I thought there would just be one of these. All right, so I, the one thing I gotta do now is put together the musket and then we can get started and see how well it works. Okay, I got the foaming musket all together. It's actually pretty simple. Instead of instructions, they, it comes with a QR code, takes you to a video, shows you how to set it up. So that's pretty cool. The only thing I wasn't crazy about is that the hose will fit in here to the back, and it does have a gasket 
but it doesn't really screw in. Um, I have a feeling that the weight of the hose might pull this out, but we'll see. But it does have good gaskets in there. Uh, there's a gasket on here, one here in the back, so you know it's pressurized. And once the water is flowing through that, all you have to do is put like 30 to 50 mils of your car wash in this. And I'm only going to use 30 because I'm doing the Jeep. Uh, so I don't. Th there's not as much. Uh, car to cover I guess but I'm gonna go ahead and put the car wash in here let's put about 30 in so there right up to there <laughs> that looks familiar and then we just screw it on to the bottom of the musket just like that now how it works according to the video when this lever is back it's off when it's f sort of halfway or in the middle it's just water and then when it's all the way forward, it's using the car wash to foam through the musket. And so let's check it out. Actually, I was wrong. I don't need this. Um, this is if you have a different kind of hose. The uh, just regular garden hose will screw in in here. And there's a gasket in there. So I really didn't need this. But I'm going to go ahead and put the hose in here. And... We will rinse the car off. I always rinse first and then do the foam. I don't know why, just get some of the main debris that's on there off. Just an old habit, but that's what I do. Okay, we got the car wet. Now I'm gonna wash it with my old traditional method on the driver's side. I've got my sponge that's dirty and nasty and covered with leaves and uh, the old school uh, foam that I've been using forever and my old bucket. So I'm gonna wash driver's side the old way. New side will get the salty captain treatment. Not going to concentrate on the doors because they're just the soft side doors. Just this half. Okay, half the tire has been washed. And let's rinse it off. And I forgot to clean the wheels on this side. Here's a tip. Do not clean your wheels while you're cleaning the paint. Uh, I've seen so many people clean the wheels up and down the car as they go along. You've got brake dust in those wheels. Brake dust eats paint. It'll take at least the clear coat off. So wash your car, wash your truck, just as normal. Save the wheels for last. Do not use that sponge until you cleaned it again on paint. Uh, I can't tell you how many people I've seen at car washes and at, at their home washing the wheels as they wash the paint and it's just murder on your paint. So now I'm just rinsing off my old soap. Just this half of the car. Did not do the door so we're not going to count that. I haven't cleaned this side. Got a little bird accident there. 
So I haven't cleaned the left hand side. I have cleaned the right hand side. Got it all rinsed off. What I normally do now is take a towel and dry it off so I don't get the water spots. But half the car has been washed the old way. Got this side all dried off as best as I could so that there are no water spots. So filling my new bucket up. Gonna do a little bit of a foam in here. The rest will just be water. And we'll clean the passenger side. Time for the foam cannon. Now I'm going to scrub a little bit. Going to use the handy dandy mitten. Need to get the wheels and we're good. It says to spray it on for 30 to 60 seconds to let it set in. Uh, use the brush if you've got a bunch of grime and dirt in there. I'm not too bad. Then I'm going to rinse it thoroughly and uh, use a microfiber towel to dry and polish. Okay the wheel doesn't look too bad but I'm going to put this on and let it set up for a little bit. I'll do the other wheel next. Might as well do the tires too. Okay, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to actually do the driver's seat for the interior clean. And I will try the plastic side on that side, only because it's dirtier. Uh, I'm usually over here, and there's probably more dust and grime and things on this side. But we will see if it looks better. Because I'm afraid I'd do this seat and it wouldn't really improve things because it's not that bad. Seat has been cleaned. Got the dash cleaned.
wheel. Let's take a look at the other side. All right, seat, like I said, wasn't bad. But this is the other side of the dash. As you can see, it's a definitely cleaner on that side, but I cleaned it. Next up, a glass cleaner. I will go back to doing the left-hand side. Don't have any glass here, of course. But we'll see how it looks. Even though I just washed it, it's looking pretty good. But I'll do the inside as well. Okay, glass cleaner. Not a fair test because, like I said, I washed the windows with the suds. But it does work well. It's not the greatest thing in the world. I mean, it's a glass cleaner. But, yeah, it, it definitely worked. Did clean this half, not that half. And then this is the other side, just in case you were wondering. Last but not least is the drip dry. It's a post wash hydro coat and it says it dramatically reduces water spots. Let's give it a try. That's about 10 on the scale of 90, so I'll fill the rest with water. Alright, now it says to rinse it immediately. So I will get this off. There's the trip trail. Okay, so what is my verdict on my Salty Captain uh, detailing wash kit? Uh, overall, I approve. This is really, really cool. Um, it's got everything that you could possibly need in one single bucket, and that's just awesome. Uh, you know, it's got the car wash, which I really couldn't maybe tell the difference between that and my old stuff, but I mean, again, it washed it very well. Um, the thing that I think sold it for me was the drip dry because you could actually spray this on, rinse it off real quick. I did not towel off that Jeep on that side and there are no watermarks. It worked really, really well. Um, the interior clean, I think, was actually really cool too. Um, I could definitely tell that, that the interior uh, seat was, you know, it looked a lot better. It had gotten a lot of the dust out of it. There wasn't a whole lot of dirt in there, but it, it definitely got it cleaned up nicely. The dash looked great. Um, I mean, it, it, it really, really works well. And the wheel wash, yeah, I was kind of on the fence on that one because I'd already kind of washed it with the car wash. But again, if you just were to spray this on there, rinse it off, I, you know, after it sets up for a little while, I think this would probably work really well, especially if it were covered in dirt and mud and whatever. I think that would be great. The glass cleaner, pretty much the only thing I was like, eh, not so great. Um, I'm a big Windex kind of guy. This has the feel of sort of the Zep brand of window cleaner. You can get it at like Lowe's and Home Depot. Every time I use that, it always feels like it's a little too watery. Um, 
But I mean, again, it works fine. It, it's a great little glass cleaner. Um, the thing that, that really is nice is that it comes with that chamois to dry it off. It's got the brushes, uh, the hard and the soft bristles. So if I had, a, again, a ton of mud on that Jeep, this would definitely take care of the wheels, the uh, the running boards, everything where there's a bunch of mud that's going to get kicked in there. Scrub it all away and you're good to go. The thing that is worth the price of admission, though, for me is the musket. This is really, really cool. I mean, it, it looks... It's made of plastic and it looks like it might be kind of cheap, but I've dropped this thing twice on concrete and it's fine. Uh, I didn't do it on purpose, but it's got the gaskets to help seal it up. It's got even measuring uh, section on here that you can actually put in the right amounts of things. And just being able to go off, you can hear it clicking uh, off, then rinse, and then you go for the soap. That is just awesome. So that alone right there is what does it. And it all comes in one really cool bucket that you have the little rinse uh, strainer thing at the bottom. So yeah, this is this is a pretty neat setup. I don't think I'd go back to just my bucket and sponge and my $6 cleaner from AutoZone. Um, if you want to check one out, definitely check out this kit. I mean, there are a lot of different ones out there. I don't maybe trust the brands of ones that are just sitting up on the shelves in the auto stores. This guy, These guys, though, I think have got it all together. They've thought all this through and everything works together. Definitely check it out. Oh crap, I just realized now I've got to go back out and do all of this to the other half of the Jeep. <laughs> Not fun. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, something a little bit different. Um, if you can, like it if you got anything out of it. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Again, this is Salty Captain. Uh, just do a quick search online if you want to find out more about these guys. I believe it's an Australian company, but they have a U.S. presence here as well. I ordered this. And I got it, I think it was in like three days. From the, And I got notifications each time. Hey, it's been shipped. It's on its way. It's been delivered. I mean, it was pretty cool. They, they, they're definitely on it. So check them out. If you have any questions, though, in the comments, uh, let me know. And uh, if I got anything wrong, let me know. Uh, this is my first time using this kit, so I think I used everything correctly, followed the instructions. But yeah, I, I appreciate you very much for tuning in. We will catch you next time.